Peter, and as you know, I get asked a lot of questions about baby wearing, but even more about accessories associated with baby wearing. So today I just wanted to talk about whether or not you need a baby wearing jacket or coat or whatnot as you head into cold weather wearing. Um, there is no right or wrong here. I find that a lot of people see people have one so they want one, or they hear someone has loved it and they want one, but I find that whether or not you'll actually get use out of a baby wearing jacket depends on who you are and the lifestyle you live and the age child that you have. So I just wanted to run through five or six things that I find can be really useful to consider as you're debating an investment or adding one onto a holiday wish list. So the first thing that I wanted to mention was lifestyle. I live in an urban lifestyle. I walk most places and I find that because I heavily walk, I do wear a baby wearing jacket. Now when I have talked with clients, followed online, had debates and discussions with people, I find that folks who are in a more rural area, who are also doing a lot of outside work, um, whether that's because you have horses and animals or because you walk a lot of places, awesome power to you, also wear a baby wearing jacket pretty often. The portion of the community that I find doesn't use it as much, and this might not be you, this is just what I'm hearing, are people who live in the suburbs. So if you're someone who gets from your car to the grocery store and goes into the grocery store, you go in your car to the school, you run in to get your kids, you go in your car, to the somewhere, to the something, um, it doesn't usually make sense time-wise and temperature-wise to stand outside your car, put on a baby uh, carrier, put on a baby, put on a jacket, re like get everything zipped up to walk the 10 feet into the grocery store. Most people in that case grab their baby, jacket or blanket or something and dash inside. So if most of your activities are from the car to something 25 feet, it might not be as practical for you in those instances. If you spend all day at the zoo, even though you live in a suburban area, power to you, it could be great. Um, but I do think considering how you live and where you would actually use one and how often you would use one can be really good things to consider when you're looking at an investment. Um, the next thing I always like to suggest is budget. Um, you know, we all come in different sorts and types. You might have $35 to wear a winter wearing accessory and you might have $335. Whatever your situation is, great, we can make it work. Um, but you might want to consider how much use you're going to get for the item, whether you're going to get this winter's use, four years of winter's use, more children are in the works, and decide how your budget plays into that. You can also consider whether this is going to be your jacket all the time, and sometimes a baby wearing jacket, or if this is going to be just the baby wearing jacket. Um, and what I mean by that is a jacket like this, this works just fine on me. And then I can add an actual insert to this jacket. And when I zip this in, it becomes a baby wearing jacket. Because of that, I might be willing to invest a little bit more because I'm going to wear this every day no matter whether or not I'm wearing. And then anytime I wear, I just add the zip and panel to it and now it fits both of us. Versus a jacket like this, where this is a pouch that is permanently attached. I'm probably not wearing this lump on my front unless I'm actually planning on baby wearing that day at that moment when we get to our destination. The result is that I probably am willing to spend less money on this and more money on this. So consider what your budget is and consider how you figure out your budget for what your purposes are. Um, the third thing I like to ask about is the developmental stage. And I know you're thinking, duh, Megan, I know this, um, but you'd be surprised how many people I mentioned this to who are like, oh yeah. So I wear a big kid, he's four. I wear when we're gonna go somewhere like the grocery store or to school. I do not use a baby wearing coat though if we're going to the park because when we get to the park, I'd have to take him out of the carrier and out of my jacket to go play and then he wouldn't have a coat. So there are times where I use my baby wearing jacket and there are times where we do layers and we wear in separate warm items that way we can get somewhere to play. Consider if you're wearing a six month old or a one-year-old or a four-year-old like I do, when you're going to wear, not just, hey, I'm gonna wear at the zoo or I walk to school, but also, am I considering all the times we're outside where they're going to want to be down? So I don't wear my baby wearing jacket at the zoo because my kid wants up and down 900 times. Yours might too. So again, considering your lifestyle, I would also consider the developmental age of your child and whether or not you think you're gonna get the use out of it that you want for whatever your budget or your lifestyle is. Um, the fourth thing I always like to talk about is style. There are so many winter wearing accessories that are out there. This one is a coat. 
It can be worn on the front and the back. And I apologize, this is a soft shell jacket and the same company does make a coat. And so just not to be confusing, this is a jacket. Um, and the panel can be zipped on the front or the panel can be zipped on the back. And so it's great for me. I wear a big kid and I love being able to put them on my back because 40 pounds is a lot to have on my front all the time. Um, there are other jackets that allow you to hip carry as well. This one does not, um, or at least not as easily because of where the openings are. Um, but if that is something that you do all the time, we always hip carry, you might want to consider that. There are jackets that work well on the front only. There are inserts like this. This zips into my existing winter coat, not even a baby wearing jacket, just the winter coat I had pre-children. Um, and so because of that, it only works on the front because if I wear my jacket backwards, it doesn't fit my body right. There are covers. So if you are going to leave your jacket, your regular old jacket open, you can wear a cover like this over your baby. So imagine you put this on and then you put your arms through the jacket and you guys share body heat. There are so many ways and it doesn't have to be a $335 option. Um, there's also vests. This is what was Picaroo and then got that out, bought out by Becco and I think it's now owned by Boba, but they make a vest. It zips down the side so you can get in it easily as mom or dad. Um, and then baby's head can pop out and that can be worn on your front or your back. Um, but you want to consider what style is going to work for you. So I mentioned if this is going to be your jacket all the time and then have an insert, if it's going to be permanently attached, you probably would not wear that vest just as a stylish statement on your own. Um, consider if a cover is going to work well. That might be good if you and baby often are separate because then they could wear a lighter weight jacket underneath. Um, consider if this is an investment that is going to be working with your existing clothing items. The other thing I add in there is who's wearing. For me, I can fit this jacket great, but my other half cannot. So in our first winter, we bought one of these. It happens to fit his Eddie Bauer soft shells that he's always in. And it happens to fit my North Face hoodie that I wear all the time. The result was that we could both baby wear on the front. My kiddo was about six months in his first winter. So we are still heavily wearing on the front and it met our needs. And it meant that it could fit both our jackets despite us having a good six inches between us in different body shapes. All right, so there are lifestyle reasons, there's budgetary reasons, there's developmental stage if they're up and down, and there's style of coat. The other thing that I always let you know is you don't have to have a baby wearing coat. Don't get me wrong, I love my baby wearing jacket. I talk about it all the time. But you can always do layers, you can always use your baby's coat and put that onto their carrier, you can always use some sort of cover, you can DIY with a blanket. Um, I've heavily used a blanket and a sling raid and kind of created a cape style for me and my kiddo. You can use a poncho. You can just borrow somebody else's coat. Um, my other half is six inches taller than me and has, I don't know, 60 pounds on me. I can zip me and my son in his coat just because of our size difference. Um, there are many, many options to wearing in the winter. Just make sure that yours stay warm. You consider layers because body heat is really toasty. I have like a little furnace who sits on me all the time. And you consider what's gonna meet your needs the best. So as you're thinking about winter wearing, stay cozy. And if you have any questions, let me know.